Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve assessment problem 7.2 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is, in the circuit zone, the suite has been in position 1 for a long time. At t is equal 0, the switch moves instantaneously to position 2. A, find V0t for t is greater than equal 0. And B, what percentage of the initial energy stored in the inductor eventually dissipated in the 40 ohm resistor? Okay, maybe let's draw the circuit first at the time before the switch is moved, which is at t is less than 0. Okay, so at t is less than 0, we will have 240 volt here. And then we will have that 12 ohm. And it's not going here, but going there. So we will have 4 ohm there. And this still have 40 ohm here. Okay. And let's do it like this. And then because it has been has been in this position for a long time, the inductor will become short circuit. And this one will be 10 ohm, right? 10 ohm. So we need to find out the initial inductor current. So we need to find out I0 here. I0. Okay. We can do KCL. Maybe let's name this as VA. And here is our ground. So we will have 240 here. And let's assume the direction of the current here, here, and this is already there. Okay, so we can do KCL at VA. KCL at VA. Which stated that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the current that goes out. The current that goes in is here. So I will have 240. 240 minus VA divided by 16, I think. Yeah, 16. 12 plus 4 is 16, right? And that will equal to VA over 40. And then plus VA over 10. Okay. We can multiply both sides here by 80. By 80. 16 and 80 will cancel into 5, so we will have 1200 here, minus 5VA, and that will equal to, this will be 2VA, and then plus 8VA. Okay, so we will have 1200 is equal to 15VA. And that resulting in VA is equal to 240, 240 volt, right? 240 volt. Is it correct? Maybe. And then... Oh, it is not correct. It should be 80, right? 80. Yeah, it should be 80. Eighty volt. Yeah, so this is not correct, right? Okay. So that is VA. So that means that I0 is I0. I0 is VA divided by 10. And so we'll have 80 divided by 10. That will be 8 ampere. Right? Okay. So now let's move on. Okay. So we got the important value, which is I0 is 8 ampere.
Okay, so far we got I0 is equal to 8 ampere, which is important value later. But now we still need to do more work. So now we need to find out at T is greater than 0. So the switch now is moved to the position number 2. Okay, so we have this 6 ohm here. And then we also have that 4 ohm there. And then we have also 40 ohm here. Okay. And then we will have that inductor 722 millihenry. Or maybe we need to convert it into Henry. So we will have 0 0.072. Henry. And then lastly, we will have that 10 ohm transistor. Okay. And we can simplify all of this, right? Simplify. We can replace all the resistor as a single resistor. So we'll have R here. And then an inductor here. So the inductor is still this one, so I'll have 0 0.072 Henry. And then the resistance, okay, what is the resistance? Let's calculate that. The resistance is 10 here, 10 plus 40 in parallel with 4 and 6 in series. So I'll have 4 plus 6. But then 10 plus 40 is parallel with 10. And then we will have 10 plus 40 multiplied by 10 divided by 50. Okay, so this will cancel into 5. And the R will be 18 ohm. So we will have this as 18 ohm. Okay, good. Now let's do KVL here in this in this loop here. Okay, remember that the question is asked about V0. V0 is here. Okay, maybe let's put some notes there. So we will have I is here, but then that will equal to this I here. Okay. Now let's do KVL at I. KVL at loop I. And KVL said that the sum of the current, I mean the sum of the voltage in a loop, will equal to 0. So we will have 18 multiplied by I and then plus. 0 0.072 okay this will be LDI over DT right so I have 0 0.02 DI over DT is equal to 0 okay so this is a first order differential equation and remember together with this we will have the initial condition which is I0 is equal to 8 ampere so what we need to do is solve this for I Okay, let's do exactly that, but first let's clean up the board first. Okay, so now we have changed the question from the circuit question to a mathematical question. And this is a first order differential equation with initial condition. Okay, let's solve this. Okay, we will have 18 here to the right hand side maybe. So I will have minus 18i here and we will have 0.072. Di over dt. Okay. And so we can move this 0 0.02 to the right hand side. So we'll have di over dt is equal to minus 18 divided by 0 0.02. So I will have 18 divided by 0 0.072. Okay, that will be minus 250. Minus 250i 
Okay, let's group all together. So I'll have di over i will equal to minus 250 dt. Okay, and we can integrate both sides. Okay, so we will have the natural log of i on the left hand side. And then we will have minus 250t. And then plus some constant. Or we can write it like this. So we will have this. But I want to rewrite this as another constant. Because e to the c c1 is just another constant so i will write it as a and then e to the minus 250 t okay but then we will have that i0 is equal to a so we will have a e to the minus 250 multiplied by 0 that will equal to 8 this means that a multiplied by 1 that should be a and on the right hand side, that's still A. So we will have IT. IT is equal to 8 e to the minus 250T. Okay. And this is an important value. And let's save this and answer question A and B. Okay. Remember that IT is the current here. Right. This is IT. Okay, and I need to use this circuit here because this is the condition that we are looking for, right? Because 40 is greater than 0. So this is the circuit that we will be using for this one. Okay, and we are asked about P0. Okay, P0, the positive sign is here. Maybe I will just use this as the node P0 that we are looking for. And maybe let's use this here as our ground. Okay. Why? Because we can do KCL at P0. Right. So we can do KCL at P0. Because this is I will go there. And then I will assume that this will go there. And this also go there. Right. So this I here is the IT. So we will have IT as the current that goes in. And then this one will be the current that goes out first, which is P0 over 40. And then this is another current that goes out, which is P0 over 10. Okay, let's calculate this. So I'll have IT here. And we can just multiply this by 4, right? 4 over 40. And then we add them up. So I'll have 5, 4, 5 P0 divided by 40 and this will cancel into 8 so we will have p0 is just 8 i t okay so we will have p0 t that will be 8 multiplied by 8 is 64 and then e to the minus 250 t and the unit here will be fold right okay and this is the answer for question A. We still need to find out the question B. So the A is done. Okay, let's do question B. It's one question. So what percentage of the initial energy? Maybe let's calculate the initial energy first. So initial energy. What is the initial energy? Remember that that will be one half L I square. So this is the initial energy. Let's do that. One half multiplied by 0 0.02. 0 0.072. And then I. I0. What is I0? I0 is 8. Okay. So let's remember that. We will have 8 square okay i think this is the job of calculator one half multiplied by 0 0.072 multiplied by 8 square okay we will have 
four, four, yeah. And the unit here will be joule, right? And then the energy dissipated by the 40 ohm. But we don't specify the time, so maybe we need to find out at t is equal to infinity, right? Okay, if that is the case, remember that E is integral from 0 to the infinity of the power uh, with respect to time. However, we don't know the power, we only know the voltage here. So, but then uh, take a note that P is P squared over R. We can use this one. So, we we'll have integral. 0 until infinity and then v v is this one right so we will have 64 e to the minus 250 t and that needs to be square and then divided by what is the resistance 40 40 and then this will be dt okay uh so we will have this integral 0 to infinity. Okay, this 64 squared. So we'll have 64 multiplied by 64 divided by 40, right? So we'll have 102.4. 102.4. And then e to the this one squared. That means that we will have e to the minus 500t. Okay, and we need to integrate it with respect to time. Okay, now things get interesting because we will have E is equal to minus 102.4 divided by 500. And then E to the minus 500T. And then <coughs> the unit will be from 0 to infinity. Okay. And if we plug into the infinity, we will have 0 here. So we will have E is equal to 0. And then minus and minus will become plus. And we will have 102.4 divided by 500. Okay, and I think that will be the job of our calculator. 102.4 divided by 500. That will be 0. Point, okay, 0. Point, that one. Two. Okay, so now let's uh, percentage. Let's calculate the percentage. Okay, we will have 0 0.2048 divided by 2.304 multiplied by 100%. Okay, let's do that. What is it? 0 point divided by 2.304 multiplied by 100%. Okay, we will have 8.89%. 8.89%. And I think that is the same, right? We had, we get the V0 as here and the percentage as here, which is exactly what is requested by the problem. Okay, that's all. See you in the next problem. Bye-bye.